I'm back here today. Uh, my name is JP Onya, and I'm one of the members of the Filipino Science Hub. And uh, today I'm going to talk about um, data analysis as a natural continuation of the lecture uh, yesterday about uh, experimental design. So just to uh, recap, um, this is what we have uh, discussed yesterday uh, about experimental design. It is rooted from the uh, research aims and objectives that we have um, cascaded down from the research question that we have set out to answer. Okay, so nandito na po tayo sa experimental design uh, or what is so-called like uh, the data gathering part of the research. But uh, after the uh, experiments, we already have our data. So what do we do with our data? So we analyze it. Okay. And uh, data analysis in research is um, used uh, to draw valid conclusions. So it's the bridge from uh, the experiment, experimentation and the, the conclusion. And uh, these conclusions are directly related in turn uh, to the research question at hand. So why is it important data analysis sa research? Uh, number one is it confirms or rejects a, hy a hypothesis. So uh, you can recall that um, uh, in every research, we have a hypothesis in mind. And uh, the data analysis will either confirm or reject that hypothesis. Secondly, um, it will provide reliable data that can serve as basis for future work. So. Uh, when we already have uh, a valid um, data analysis or we already um, derived um, a solid and systematic uh, data analysis, it provides uh, a basis for future work. So meaning to say it increases the body of knowledge on that specific research topic. So nadadagdagan uh, po yung um, uh, information available on that research topic. That's why it's really important that um, we take some time to come up with a very valid uh, data analysis. Also, it improves uh, the accuracy of results. So when we analyze the data, um, most often we uh, encounter unexpected results or unexpected trends. So we need to look into those um, spurious or probably remarkable um, uh, outcomes or data or data points para po um, ma-judge natin if those are just um, errors in measurement or it presents um, some anomalies in the, in the experiment. So we go back to the experimental design to investigate if there are questionable uh, results. And in turn, it will improve the accuracy of our final uh, results. Now, if we um, encountered some, uh, um, some anomalies in our experiments, it will provide some insight to some new uh, research directions. So, uh, wag po natin um, we try to reject outright any unexpected results. So, kasi uh, that might be a clue for something else na hindi natin na foresee. So, that's why we have to uh, welcome any unexpected um, results or trends in our data. Okay, so... I would like to just um, expand this um, diagram. So we have stopped at experimental design yesterday. And um, now we are continuing with the data analysis uh, from the data that we have gathered from our experiments. And the conclusions are based on the data analysis uh, that we carried out. And in the grand scheme, the conclusion natin answers ultimately 
uh, the research question. So, yan yan po. So, nakita natin na um, cascading down yung uh, process, but then you also have uh, back arrows here. Uh, this one I already tackled yesterday, and this one I just mentioned uh, na yung data analysis natin will present, uh, will possibly present some unexpected results or potential outliers that will make us um, reevaluate our experimental design. So, babalik na naman tayo uh, to look at our experimental design whenever we encounter those um, anomalies.